Hey, First Baptist Mason, Brian here, and this is one of my favorite days of the entire year. It is opening day of the Major League Baseball season. My Rangers kick off their season against the Kansas City Royals a little bit later on this afternoon. And you know, this year they're not predicted to do very well. All the prognosticators and all the guys that can look at all the stats and see how good the team's been put together says they're not gonna be good. In fact, they say they're gonna be horrible. But I don't care about that because one of the things that I love about opening day is that it brings hope. Hope to the fans, hope to the team that things are gonna be different, that things might go unexpectedly well, things, new players might come in, uh, uh, players might have career years, or they might mature into the baseball player that they have been destined to be. And so there's always hope. And the great thing about it is that's exactly what we're celebrating this weekend as we celebrate Easter, is we are celebrating hope. The hope that came when Jesus rose from the dead. And so we've got several things planned for you this weekend that we want you to be a part of with us. First off is tomorrow night at 6 p.m. We're gonna have a Good Friday service here at the church, but we're also gonna stream this online. And part of that Good Friday service is we're gonna have three different elements. We're gonna have a, a time, uh, an element of prayer, an element of, of confessing our sins, and an element of communion or the Lord's Supper you might know it as. And so here, when you're here in person, we're gonna have those things for you. But if you're at home, I need you to do a few things for me. First off, I need you to find a place that you can watch the service, but you can be comfortable, and then you might be able to get on your knees, or you might wanna, wanna sit silently and still, and that you would be able to spend some time in prayer with God. Just a place that you can have a conversation with God tomorrow night. Secondly, I want you to find something, it could be a piece of paper, it could be a journal or something, that you would feel comfortable writing out the sins that you feel like you are dealing with right now. Sins that you could take to the cross and give to Jesus. And third, I want you to go in your pantry, go in your refrigerator, don't go out and buy anything special, but go find something that you can use as a symbol for when we take communion. It can be bread, it can be crackers, it can be anything. Something that represents that when the bread is broken, that represents the body. Then you can find something to drink, juice, be, you know, water or something, something that represents in your, in your mind for this instance, the blood. So that when you take the communion tomorrow night, when you take the Lord's Supper tomorrow night, you remember that the body was broken and the blood was shed for your forgiveness. That's gonna be awesome tomorrow night. Cannot wait to be a part of it at six o'clock. And then we're gonna be back again on Sunday morning starting at 9 a.m. We're gonna have breakfast together as a family, as a faith family. We're gonna have breakfast in the fellowship hall. You don't need to bring anything but yourself, your family, and your friends. Be here at 9 a.m. for breakfast. At 10 o'clock, the kids are gonna go out in the back lot and there's gonna be filled with eggs and candy and other goodies for them to go and capture um, in our egg hunts at 10 a.m. And then at 11 o'clock, we're gonna come into the sanctuary and we're going to have a live in-person worship service to celebrate our risen King. Don't worry, we will stream that service online as well. We'll have uh, links in the bottom of this email for you to find all of those things. Two, one thing I want you to do though is go to the Bible app, download the Bible app on your phone, and you're gonna find an event for tomorrow night service, the Good Friday service, and for the Sunday service. That'll be a guide for you to follow along throughout the service. Tomorrow night will be particularly important because there'll be some key pieces, some key sections in that event that talk about the three elements that I described earlier. So you wanna make sure you download that Bible app, go to events and look up First Baptist Mason and you will find those there. We'll put a link to it also in the bottom of this email. Other things coming up, April 11th, I want you to be here. If you are new to First Baptist Mason, we're gonna have our first lunch with the pastors. This is an opportunity for myself, our lay pastors, and, and some of our deacons and other leadership of the church to get to know you. And we're gonna provide you lunch and then just get to know you and then let you get to know us. We'll, we'll let you ask questions about the church, about ourselves. We'll, we'll tell you a little bit about what we believe, our history, why we do what we do and how we do what we do. And so we're really excited about that, but we need to know how many of you are coming. And so you'll see a button in this, in this email as well that says connection card. Click on that and you can fill that out and that will RSVP you for that lunch right after the service, Sunday, April 11th. One other big thing I want to mention that's coming up soon that I want you to save the date for because this is a big, big deal. And this is an opportunity to impact our community. One of the things that I want to see us do is impact our community and make Jesus' name known. And that is Vacation Bible School is coming June 7th through the 10th. So mark your calendars. 
Make sure you don't schedule vacation then. Make sure you're in town and you can come and bring the neighborhood kids from your street, from the streets around you, to VBS this year, June 7th through the 10th. Cannot wait to celebrate this weekend with you guys. Hope you have a great day and I love you. Can't wait to see you this weekend. Bye.